I said, how are you planning to gain access out of the hotel to your car to the club? Uh, via the elevator and just a mad dash like I own the goddamn place. All right, and what have you done with your, your outfit for this evening? How have you concealed it? Okay, very cleverly putting a jacket over it and pants on over my... My lovely, my lovely legs, which are bestocking with, uh, with flesh-colored <laughs> tights and fishnets. And once we get there, I'll put on a little lipstick, I'll put on my six-inch heels, I will take off my pants, <laughs> I'll take off my jacket, and I will be perky as possible. I have opted for the non-drag uh, costume tonight, although it is as much as costume as anything I own. Here's Sonia, the elegantly... Elegantly... Icy, very Hitchcockian, it's so good. The, fe the Femi Fatally. The femme fatale. Yes. <laughs> I have, it is away from me. What? Yes, it does. Not that. Well, but when you get inside the club, you're going to hand that to me, and I'm going to stuff it in a ball into my uh, sleeve. I don't want to keep this. Don't you worry. Do you have a white top? I have a white top. Do you have a white top? Do you have a white top? Do you have a white top? I have a white top. I just don't want to walk around the lobby with that. Do you want to drop it? Do you want to drop it? Yeah, I'll kind of sweat it. I'm gonna put my makeup on in the car, jeez. I don't have to put it on here, really. I mean, it's no big deal. I'm gonna try to do it in the car. You want? She would have called. She knows I want Is Cece had any problem coming, calling her or anything? Did you? No. Okay. No. Oh, oh gosh. We oh, won yeah. and we lost and we won and we lost and we won. Mm. Trying to sleep? Sorry. Bart. Mm. Bart. Yes, you... Sonia is really good at playing the crap table. Mm. She has the intuition of a gambler. Mm -hmm. No, because I was watching her. She knows how to bet. It's not just knowing the rules, but it's like knowing when to bet and when not to bet. That's mostly how the game works. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I like to play this crap. Yeah, I know. We can't always be lucky, you know? Yeah, I know. But that was fun, at least. Mm -hmm. What time is it right now? I don't know. It's probably five something. It's a quarter to five right now. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. We had our shrimp cocktail. Okay. Um, yeah, I came back. Well, I hope Cece's okay. You think she's okay, Annie? I think Cece's having a marvelous time. I want her life. Whatever she's doing, she's having lots of fun. Mm hmm. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> hey, you're the one who had it on. Well, I 
Did you just worry that you have problems getting back into the building? We did worry about you driving without pants on. So. No, I have my pants on. Oh, okay. Well, I'm very glad for that. Pants on. And I walked into the building, though I did have my lipstick on. That's true, but this is Vegas. Yeah, and the path from uh, the uh, parking lot to the elevators was completely barren void, so. Very nice. I had no problems whatsoever with getting up, and then I went sleepy by, took a shower. Have you called in for a wake-up time or anything like that? Oh! No, we just wake up when we feel alive. Okay. If it's noon, we get up at noon. Yes. That's how to me. Well, I'm going to turn off this camera. Unless anyone has like an urgent morning affair making with these two sexy blondes. Oh. Every guy was looking at him with complete envy. Because there's a different breed of cat in the clubs downtown. Oh, downtown. It's it's a more seedy. Everyone looks like Shecky Green down there. It's, do I walk in with <laughs> two, two blondes? Two bombshells. <laughs> and it was like, I can tell the eyes were on us. Couldn't you? And we ate shrimp cocktails. And um, um, <laughs> Sonia had two. <laughs> She pounded him faster than I could believe. She was so content. 99 after cent that. crab cocktails, 99 cent shrimp cocktails, and no waiting. And they were in a parfait glass this big. And they were packed full. Yeah. If shrimp or imitation crab is your game, that's the name somewhere over there. So. Excellent. I heartily endorse Excedrin. Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> no, but Bart, you should have seen me. I'm just so when you're playing the crap table, all these guys were watching us play. It was so funny. You had to see it. Mm -hmm. well, we were doing good at first, and then we did not. Okay. Well, that and those guys, the stick guys and stuff, they were they were loving it up too. They were like going. I love showing up in there. Oh yeah, they were like saying things to us and stuff. It was funny. The stick guys. You know, the guys that run the table. The guys who take the stick and oh, scoop okay. the dice uh, okay. towards you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do, and, and, and sometimes it's just completely pointless. Well, look at We knew okay. that Cece would be going off on her okay. own. Cece is, a, is an adult. Yeah, well, the week Lydia got in her accident. A lot more adult than... Lydia, the week Lydia got in her accident, I wasn't worrying about her. See? <laughs> well, yeah. I feel like if I focus my energy on things, it actually helps things. Really? Do you worry? I, don't, I believe it, whether it happens or not. I Are you worried believe. about an asteroid impacting the Earth right now? <laughs> no. Actually, I believe the variable is so minute that it's like, imagine trying to throw a rock through a hole 50 yards away. Cool. You know uh, what I'm saying? <laughs> a golf hole. A golf size hole at 50 yards. Uh, imagine throwing a rock and, and, hit, and getting it in that hole. The chances are, are actually are better than, the, the odds are better that you would hit that hole at 50 yards throwing it than, than the Earth hitting by that asteroid. Because if you go into space and look at the actual distances, it's a very big difference. In fact, just the, uh, the opportunity of two planets colliding or something, the odds are so infinite. That's not saying it can't happen. I mean, it's just like people winning the lottery, it can happen. Yeah.